Callahan in Lawrence, Georgia writes to me, my question is how the cable company is able to send gigabytes of data across miles of fiber, but in the audio world, you're not able to use or send megabytes of data across five inches through fiber optics when you're designing audio components. I'm sure there must be some logical reason why the cable company can do it, and you can't. <laughs> Absolutely, you are totally correct. Fiber is amazing. Our whole world will soon be wired with fiber, and gigabytes, terabytes, lots of bytes go through fiber without any problem. It is a marvelous technology that we increasingly are using inside of our equipment to galvanically isolate, to lower noise, do all kinds of great stuff. And technically, there is zero reason why our little wimpy bandwidths of high-end, high-speed audio as compared to you know, 8K video, oh my goodness, that's really good bandwidth. <laughs> Easily done on fiber, no problem. In fact, obviously, if you have a whole neighborhood running on a fiber optic, you've got you know, 20,000 people that can share, that can stream individual things at gigabyte speed on a single cable. Amazing stuff. So, the reason that you uh, think that it's bandwidth limited turns back to something we talked about earlier, which is called Toslink. Toslink, which is the Toshiba Link, is a consumer optical cable and receiver transmitter set that is very inexpensive to build, is bandwidth limited, and is probably on the way out. It's likely we won't be seeing Toslink around a whole lot uh, more anymore because its, its usefulness has kind of gone out the door. And Toshiba, I mean, my God, there must be billions of these around. I mean, they did a great job. Their task was transferring 44.1, 48 kilohertz data without any problem and make it easy for the consumer to go boom, boom, and it just connects. They did that wonderfully. Toslink goes up to maybe 96 kilohertz. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a higher one. But their charge when they designed it was not to, to do high speed fiber, you know, blah, blah, blah. We hadn't even heard of it back then. So it's old technology that still remains in many of our consumer electronics. And that's called Toslink. And that's the hang up. If we wanted to, there are tons of fiber optics that do gigabyte speed now that are not much more expensive than Toslink. Consumer audio just hasn't gotten its act together to come up with some sort of standard because if we put it on our products, it'll only work with our products. And you know, you know how that goes. Okay. All right. Hope that helps. Hope that answers your question. Thanks.